Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of opinionated crap you don't care about, also the home of the feedback to provide that we don't care about, keeps us on an even playing field, and we like that. Real quick shout out to the sponsor, Tech Industries. If you're ever in the need of having a uh, dog walking service go and walk dogs across your neighbor's yard and ensure that they take multiple shits across the entire property, be sure, call Tech Industries, they can work that out for you. Uh, and, you know, they exercise discretion and everything that you would hope to achieve within your contractual obligations with them will be fulfilled and met or your money back guaranteed. Anyhow, tech industries, give them a call or don't. Do what you do. Anyhow, moving straight into subject matter at hand, today we are talking about a uh, Netflix original program that came out by one of the, you know, most genius creators that has, you know, taken part in, you know, creating some of the most dynamic cartoony television, you know, in, in decades. Uh, you know, we got Matt Groening, Groening, however you want to pronounce it and or say it. We don't do research. So that's your job. Uh, but, you know, Simpsons, uh, you know, the other shows he's done, uh, you know, he's done some good ones. But we're talking today about the Netflix original Disenchantment. So all in all, what do we think of you? Well, this show is right up the, I mean, it fits the Futurama, Simpsons, you know, comedic, I guess, dynamics or whatever. It has the characters, it has the storyline, it has the, the, you know, atmosphere, it creates everything really, really well and does it, does it perfectly. Uh, it's kind of slow going, uh, you know, it's not as good as like, you know, the first episode of Futurama, uh, where, you know, it kind of sets the stage for everything because a couple things shift and change, uh, you know, throughout at least the first season that they've done. Uh, but it gets to be where it is definitely worth a watch the further you kind of get into it and the more you learn about the world and the characters and things like that. They do really well and there are some clever jokes in there. A couple of them miss the mark, especially early on, but they do start finding their ground and seemingly going in a direction where, you know, the show should just be propelled to, you know, many a season to come as long as they don't fall too far off the uh, mark with what they're doing. Uh, but inherently, very, 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 uh, you know, worth a watch. Um, especially if you're into any of, uh, you know, the previously aforementioned uh, titles that this dude's been a part of and created and developed and things like that. Uh, so fans of Simpsons, Futurama, you know, things like that. Uh, it's going to be right up your alley. Slow going, but worth staying with it and kind of getting there or whatever. So, you know, we wouldn't say it's the, uh, you know, best show out there, but it's definitely worth a watch, especially getting into it. But uh, Disenchantment. Netflix original, huh? What do we think of you? Uh, well, you get a G because it's good. So check it out or don't. Do what you do. We do what we do. Anyhow, have a good one. You probably didn't. Catch you next time. Probably won't.